The cattle drives were over for the season, but the trouble was just beginning in Dodge City. A couple of rowdy Texas cowboys got a little too riled up, and things turned ugly fast. One of them ended up dead by my hand in a clear case of self-defense. But his brother, Buelio, didn't see it that way. The man had an ancient grudge burned into his soul. The idea that the only way to settle things was through cold-blooded revenge, no matter how I tried to reason with Buelio, convince him to let this go before more blood was spilled. He just wouldn't listen. His mind was made up. He was going to kill me or die trying. With a man that far gone, talking sense was useless. I knew sooner or later we were going to have to settle things once and for all. The showdown was coming to Dodge, and only one of us was going to walk away. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gunsmoke, the story of the violence that moved west with young America. The story of a man who moved with it. Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad. Hand me that bottle, Zach. Been a long, dusty trail up from Texas. I don't care to ride into Dodge. Stop it. Stay <laughs> on that. Uh, now, don't kill it. I come up the same trail you did. I'm just as dry. Uh, uh, I hope I never see another moss horn steer. I'm going to settle down and be a bartender or something easy like that. Uh, tomorrow, you'll wish you were back trailing cattle. You wish you'd never see it, Don. Hey, come on, my turn on that bottle. Oh, By tomorrow, maybe there won't be no Dodge. Maybe we'll have torn it plumb apart. Oh, yeah. Hey, here's the cougar howls in the hair. <laughs> hey, then look yonder. Look, that there's the Alec for a ganja. Let's start with it. Hey, tell them we're here, Doc. Show them how we live in Texas. Ah, in the third. Y'all can't talk like that. Ah, 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 Hold it now. All right, hold it there. Yeah. Put a bullet through his hat, Zach. <laughs> Shoot his heels away. Get down off those horses. I sure I'll get down, mister. That's what I come here for. All the way from Texas. Uh, you're welcome here. But don't get any notions about shooting up this town. Uh, who are you, anyway? I'm a U.S. Marshal, and I'll take your gun till you're sober enough to carry it again. Nobody takes my gun. All right, then ride back to camp. Don't let them buffalo you, Zach. Here you are. Mister, I'm staying. Me and my gun. And there'll be a marshal for breakfast if you try to stop me. All right, I... Why? Stop it! I'm gonna kill you for doing that. I the Lord. Well, it's not That was awful close, Mr. Dillon. I saw the whole thing. Yeah, another drunken cowboy with more fire than a sense. Well, you had to kill him. Yeah. Take his gun, Chuckie. Uh, yes, sir. You uh, don't shoot that one. Oh, nobody ain't gonna shoot you, mister. Get on your feet. Yeah, come on, get it. Yes, sir. Oh, Busted my head. You'll be all right. But your friend tried to shoot me. He's dead. Uh, you killed him. To keep him from killing me. There'd be trouble about this, Marshal. Now, 
Thought you'd get anything like that started. Oh, not me. His brother, Howard Bulow. He's out the camp. I know him, Marshal. He'd come after you. All right, I'll be here. <laughs> it won't be like that. Howard wouldn't face no gunfighter. He shoots you in the back or from alley at night. I know him, Marshal. It'll happen. You want to bury your friend here or take him back to camp? I'll take him back to camp. All right, we'll help you time across this horse. We can use his rope, Chester. Yes, he... There's more coffee here, Mac. Uh, no, no thanks, Kitty. Can't say I blame you. You think a restaurant like Delmonico could at least make good coffee? <laughs> I never saw a woman yet who didn't find fault with everybody's cooking but her own. <laughs> Women have more taste than men. Yeah, thought. sure. More arguments, too. Mac. Yeah? That man you had to shoot today, his brother, is that what's on your mind? Yeah, I suppose. I've been thinking. You never seen him. If he does ride into town, you won't be able to recognize him, will you? Well, let's say he'll probably be the first man who tries to shoot me in the back. Oh, Matt. Oh, don't worry about it. It's been tried before. I'm still around. Come on. Let's get out of here. Well, okay. Sure. Okay. Run Street, not very crowded, right? That's early. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Huh? What is it? And that man laid up against the post up there. When he turns his head, I want to get a look at him. Someone you're after, Matt? Yeah, there. Yeah. No, it's someone who's after me. Below the brother. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Sure enough to ask him anyway. You'll stay here. All right. You looking for me, Bulow? What? Your name is Bulow, isn't it? Ah. Uh, I'll bet you're him. I'll bet you're the marshal. I am. I'll take your gun now. Well, take it. All right. That won't stop me. You'll get another gun and shoot me in the back, is that it? Any way I can, Marshal. Look, Bulow, your brother tried to kill me, and he'd have done it if I hadn't stopped him. Ain't nobody kills a Bulow and gets by with it. I don't care what he done. Maybe you need a few days to think it over. Maybe that'll help. I ain't got a few days. You have now. Turn around and walk straight ahead of me, Bulow. You're going to jail for a while. No, I ain't done nothing. Turn around and get moving. Marsham, what can I do for you? My name's Will Jacklin. I'm boss of Drag Gar Herd. We're holding up river. I come for our Bulo. Uh huh. I see it. Well, turn him loose. No, no, I can't turn him loose. He didn't do a thing last night. He was just standing on the street the way I heard it. He threatened to shoot me in the back, and he says he's still going to do it. You killed his brother, didn't you? In self defense. Don't matter, you left to look out for yourself. But none of my men's gonna lay in a Kansas jail when he ain't done nothing. None of your men's gonna walk free waiting to put a bullet in my back, either. I got eight men outside, Marshal. I got ten more with the cattle. We come a long way, we had a hard drive. We're all Texans, and no Dodge City Marshal's gonna rub our nose in dirt. Nobody's trying to, Jacqueline. Fine thing, they hire men like you to kill cowboys on a little spree. You called shooting me a little spree? You could have crippled him up. I wish that were true, but I couldn't take the chance. Another shot in it to kill me. Hawkins a waste of time. I want Bulow out of here. I'll do this. I'll turn him over to you when you've sold your herd and are headed back to Texas, if you promise to keep him with you. I want him now. Yeah, not as long as he's set on killing me. Eighteen men I got, Marshal. 
not counting myself. Fourteen of us will be back tonight, and we'll get him. Jacqueline, don't try it. And after we get him, we'll really shoot your town up. You people have mistreated the last Texas cowboy you're going to. Tonight, Marshal. Sure you won't have a beer, Matt? I'll even buy you one. Do you do? I can't be drinking now, Doc. Oh, Matt, I don't think they'll ride in like that tonight. Those cowboys will always talk big. Yeah, maybe. And maybe they're just full of vinegar after the long drive they've had, huh? <laughs> now they want to whoop and holler something. Bulo's full of more than vinegar, Doc. You think so? A tooth for a tooth, Howard. An eye for an eye. Oh, my, the world's got its evil wings, all right. Marshal Dillon. Marshal Dillon. Hello, Doc. No, I'm all right, What are you going to do about those Texans, Marshal? Well, I don't know, Mr. Risley. I haven't given it much thought. Well, you better start thinking, Marshal. I heard that Jacqueline right in here this morning. He means what he says, that man. What did he say? They're going to destroy Dodge. That's what he said. Him and all those wild Texans he's got. Mr. Risling, the man I got in jail aims to shoot me from ambush if I turn him loose. But I can't help that one. Well, I can. And he's staying where he is until he comes to his senses. But what about the rest of us? Now, it's all right for you to save your own skin, but what about us? They'll shoot up the town and maybe burn my hotel down. Oh, now, don't get all excited, Mr. Risling. It won't help matters any. Look, why don't you just forget about it? Jacqueline may never show up at all. Well, that's what I come to tell you. What? Frank Paris rode by the Dragar camp a little while ago, and he says those men were just about to leave for Dodge. That means they'll be here any minute. Now, what are you going to do? I left the Yellow Braganza and walked over to the jail to wait for Jacqueline and his mob of cowboys. There I tried to have a talk with Bulow. But the only response I could get out of him was the same. He was going to kill me the first chance he got. Well, maybe Doc was right. Maybe the hard life of the cattle trail did drive Matt a little mad. Anyway, it was a poor choice they'd given me. I didn't like it. You'll be along with the shotgun, won't you, Mr. Dillon? Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Chuck. Here you are. Huh. Uh, Chester. Hmm? You, uh, don't have to get mixed up in this, you know. I know that. But I think I'm going to take a shotgun, too. Okay. All right, let's wait outside. Yeah. About ten feet apart, huh? All right, sure. There they come, Mr. Dillon. All of them. Yeah. Yeah, it is, man. Hello, Marshal. You're acting like a fool, Jacqueline. We'll see about that. You make trouble here and the law will be after you wherever you go. I don't worry none about no law. I was raised plum free. We all were. Yeah, sure you were. But that doesn't leave you free to form a mob, raid a jail, shoot up a town. What's the matter with you men? What's the matter with you? You're putting an innocent man in jail. Any man who wants to kill somebody isn't very innocent, Jacqueline. Do you have to wait till he does it? I don't have to wait for nothing. Marshal, we've come for Bulow. Let, let them have him, Marshal. Turn him loose. Hurry. You keep out of this, Risling. He's right, Marshal. You let him go peaceable and we'll leave town. But if 
You make us fight, we'll go right on fight. Oh, you heard him. He means it. Uh, you do it. Shut up, wise one. Yeah. Jacqueline, this is a shotgun I'm holding. The first move you or any of your men make, I'll cut you in two with it. Maybe. But we're too many. You can't kill us all. You'll die, and so will your friend there. That right, man? The Texas man ain't afraid to die, Marshal. But they ain't gonna get tromped on. I'm through talking, Marshal. Get set, man. And when you finish him, go rip this town wide open. Do it for me. Chester. Go get fuel load. All right. Oh, thank heaven. You used your head, Marshal. You and I'd both been dead if you hadn't. I'm not doing it because of you or me, Jacqueline. I'm doing it because too many other men would have died. Well, it don't matter, as long as you turn him loose. Look in. I'll detach you. All right, bring him over here, Chester. Well, I knew you couldn't keep me long, Marshal. And you were right, Bilo. You shouldn't have locked me up at all. Go on back to camp and try to do some thinking while you're there. Oh, sure, Marshal. And you know what I'll be thinking about? You. Sitting next to an open window or walking down a dark street. I'm going to kill you yet. <laughs> Wherever he was from, whatever kind of light he'd let, Bulow was a primitive man. Somewhere he'd heard about revenge. It's a simple idea, an eye for an eye. And he took it to heart. I realize now that there was no dealing with him. The man was incapable of change. And Jacqueline wasn't much better. But I forgot about Jacqueline. It was Bulow who'd be back... Still, two days went by, and there was no sign of him. There's a cup of Jerry's, Mr. Dillon. Let's sit there. All right, Chester. Well, oh. uh, nobody can shoot you from here, unless it comes up in front. Oh, well, it's unlikely with Bulo. What's the matter with men like him? Oh, I don't know, Chester. Too rough alike, maybe. The war... A lot of things. Well, uh, he's plumb crazy if you ask me. Uh, say, ain't that Miss Kitty coming up the street? Hmm? What's uh, she walking so fast for? Oh, I don't know. Oh, there you are, Matt. Watch it. Evening, Miss Kitty. Sit down, Kitty. You wear yourself out being in such a hurry. Matt, all the time. I've been looking for you everywhere. Uh, trouble? For you, yeah. Few loads back in town. Well, have you seen him? No. Sam did. Said he stopped him for a drink a little while ago. Is he still there? He left, but he told Sam he's got a room at the Dodge house. He might be there. Well, I'd like to find him before he finds me. At least we could see each other that way. Be careful, Matt. Uh, you better come along, Chester. Four eyes are better than two. Yes, you... Thanks, Kitty. I'll see you later. Yeah, sure. What do you do if we find him, Mr. Dillon? Well, it's no good talking to him anymore. Maybe I can scare him out of it somehow. I hear a hope so. The hotel looks pretty empty from here. Good evening, Marshal. Chester. Hello, Mr. Eisley. I'm looking for Bulo. Is he here? I don't want any shoot. I want to know if he's here, Risley. He went upstairs a few minutes ago, Marshal. Which room? More now, Marshal. On the landing, Mr. Dillon! Yeah, I missed him. Come on! Uh, he's in one of those rooms. You, we've got him there. Yeah, but I don't know which one. You stay here, Chester. I'm going down the hall. He might come out of any one of those doors. All right, see. Yeah. 
Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay, Jester. He didn't hit you, did he? No, he tried, but it was too late. He was already dying. Well, I'm sure glad. Yeah. But he died about as uselessly as a man could, Chester. For no reason at all. Not at all. And I want to pray to pray to pray to Gunsmoke, under the direction of Norman MacDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Tonight's story was especially written for Gunsmoke by John Meston, with music composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Featured in the cast were Vic Perrin, Lawrence Dobkin, Harry Bartell, and John Dana. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. Ken Teeter is speaking. You know, you get more out of life yourself when you help others. So don't miss your greatest opportunity. Help the poor, the sick, the troubled in your community. Pledge enough to the one campaign that helps them all. Give generously to your community chest. Join us again next week as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal, meets Yorkie Kelly during his fight to bring law and order out of the wild violence of the West in Gunsmoke.